we're going to look more into OK HTTP mock server and this time we're going to try and verify the request. So whenever we send a request to our server we're going to verify the body and the head and stuff like that. So it's important to do this at the end of your test. If you do it over here at the start it will just keep on um, doing the test it won't work so I usually do it at the end. So to listen to your requests you have to create an object called recorded requests name it and just put server dot take requests and this pretty much takes the request that you send to it so it could be like a post or a get whatever you send to that server you pre this pretty much grabs it and gets all the fields so we can do something like quest body quest uh, get body and I have to do two string we do uh, um, quest uh, get header. I'm just gonna get the token. I'm just gonna verify them. And what's our body? I there. Body. Four and a request token. Now this is important to do specifically because you want to verify that you're actually sending the right thing. Let's see what we did wrong here. Now this, I, I don't know how to fix this, but you could also you could just put a. Text equals hi there. Someone probably knows how to fix this. Um, you can just comment in the video. I'm not exactly sure how to fix that. But now you can get your body and your header from your request and you can verify that you're actually sending the right thing. This is great if you're parsing JSON or something and you're not exactly sure if it's coming out exactly the way you want it. So this pretty much verifies that. That's what I use it for because with JSON it's a little tricky. Sometimes it doesn't come out exactly how you want it. And that's how you do the record request.